You may have heard about NFPA 1710, the industry standard for career fire departments. But what is it? And what does it mean for our community? Your house is on fire. It's your worst nightmare. In just three minutes, a fire can grow 16 times larger than when it started and it continues to grow bigger and faster every second. Once the clock starts ticking, there's a shrinking window of opportunity to save lives and property. You want a full crew of firefighters to put it out quickly, or you may suffer a catastrophic loss. But how many are enough? 15, 20, 40? How do you decide? Fortunately, there's an internationally recognized industry standard. It's called NFPA 1710, and it's based on scientific evidence and research that establishes how many firefighters are needed to put out each fire and rescue anyone trapped. At a fire scene, you want a firefighter doing every job that needs to be done to save you and your house. And at a fire, there's a lot that needs to be done like stretching the hose, hooking to a hydrant, searching for trapped people, venting the hot gases, and much more. For a low-hazard single-family house fire, NFPA 1710 specifies a minimum of 15 firefighters dispatched in the initial alarm. At an open-air strip shopping center or garden apartment fire, the standard specifies a minimum of 28 firefighters dispatched in the first alarm. And for fires in high-rise buildings at least seven stories tall, the data show that the initial dispatch should be for a minimum of 43 firefighters, and that fire departments should send additional firefighters to situations that are beyond the capability of the initial alarm. Regardless of the type of property, 1710 also sets the time of arrival on scene within four minutes for the first engine with four firefighters. The 1710 standard for both response time and crew size is based on scientific evidence, not opinion. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, known as NIST, and its partners conducted extensive research to document the optimal crew sizes for various types of structures. As a decision maker, you and firefighters share a common goal. Everyone gets out alive. So when a house is on fire, just remember it takes a minimum of 15 firefighters to put it out. And the quicker the response time, the better the outcome for everyone. For more information, talk to your local firefighters. Thanks for listening and stay safe.